Judge Montgomery driving and talking on his cell phone? You know that it's illegal to drive and talk on the cell phone at the same time. Come on, Porter. I'm the judge. Is, is that beer I smell in your breath? Have you been drinking? Excuse me? Turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. <laughs> Nobody's gonna stop arrest me. good. Sweetheart, I just wanted to tell you that uh, me and the boys stopped over at Jimmy's and uh, I'll be home in about uh, 10 minutes. Judge Montgomery driving and talking on his cell phone? Come on, Judge, you know better than that. Sweetheart, don't worry about it. I only had a couple beers. <laughs> and besides, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> I'm the judge for Pete's sake. Wait, what? Oh, what the hell is that porter doing? That idiot. Honey, I, I, gotta, I gotta hang up. Our idiot Captain Porter just stopped me. I'll call you right back. What the hell are you doing, Captain Porter? Well, good day to you too, sir. Oh, listen, cut the crap now. Why did you stop me? Because when you passed me early, I noticed that you had your cell phone in your hand. Well, so what? I was talking to my wife. Sir, you know that it's illegal to drive and talk on the cell phone at the same time. Come on, Porter. I'm the judge. I know that you're the judge, but what difference does that make? All right, uh, you know what? I had about enough of this nonsense. Don't you all have something better to do? Because I'm leaving. Sir. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm leaving and no one's gonna stop me, at least especially you. You've been driving while talking on your cell phone and now, is, is that beer I smell in your breath? Have you been drinking? Excuse me? You heard me, sir. Have you been drinking? I don't have to answer that. Actually, yes you do. Please, sir, don't make me force you to take a breathalyzer. <sighs> No, I have not been drinking. So why do I smell beer in your breath? That's your imagination, son. My imagination, huh? Look, sir, you're the judge of this county, okay? You know every law in this county. You've broken one law by driving and talking on your cell phone, and now I'm gonna ask you one more time. Will you take a breathalyzer? You listen to me, officer. It's not officer, it's captain. But please, continue. If you know what's good for you, you will forget about this whole thing, act like it never happened, and never talk about it again. Comprendo? So you've broken two laws, and you just want me to let you go? If you know what's good for you, in a nutshell, yeah. Okay, if I do that, then I wouldn't be doing my job as a public servant. Now would I? You would be doing yourself a huge favor if you just forgot about all this. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. <laughs> Nobody's gonna stop arrest me! <laughs> 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 Ha, <laughs> ha, 
So what are you gonna do, huh? Hit me with your little hammer? Give it here. It's not a hammer, and don't you make me use it. So what, you threw me with a gavel? You broke the law twice and now a third? Are you finished? Give it here. I'm not breaking the law. I'm using this for self-defense. Self-defense? What are you trying to say? That I'm threatening you? That I'm threatening your well-being? <laughs> Give it here, Judge. I'm not asking you again. Give it here. Now turn around, put your hands behind your back. You know what? I would give you the speech about you having the right to remain silent, but you already know that one. Yeah, whatever. Look, if you would've just told me the truth about the beers, I would've let you go. It's obviously that you're not drunk, but your defiance is what has got us to this moment. You know what? For a guy who sits on the bench, you sure make a lot of bad judgments. Let's go.